hey, hey. It's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com. My website and online store are located at shellanderson.stampinup.net. I would like to thank you for joining me today. Today we are taking part in the Around the World on Wednesday blog hop. And the theme for this month's hop is favorite coloring mediums. So I have chosen the Butterfly Wishes stamp set. And this is a red rubber stamp. And as you can tell, I haven't used it yet. So hence that is my inspiration for using this is to use this for this card and I wanted a bright and happy card so I chose pineapple punch blueberry bushel and whisper white I really don't have too much of a plan as to what I'm going to do here we're kind of just winging it and that's generally the way I fly. So we're going to give this a whirl. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I want to use the pineapple from my card base. So I'm going to cut this at eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're going to score that in half again at four and a quarter to form our card base. And my mat layer is going to be, I'm just going to cut this in half first into card base size. My mat layer is going to be, where am I going to do this? Why don't we do the mat at three and three quarters? No, three and a half. Three and a half, I do not. I'm going to go three and a quarter for the mat. And how do I want this? I think I want this down the front of the card. You know what? I don't like that. It's going to be smaller. Because I'd like to do some stamping directly on the card base. So I have got this at three by five and a half. And I'm going to click this here. Yep, yeah, that's going to work for me. So then, before I cut that big sheet, let me check and see what I've got here. Oh yes, I do have a partial sheet already. So we are going to use it. This one we will cut at two and three quarters by five and a half. And that one is going to layer right on there and just give me a little pop of blue off that yellow. It's going to be a bright one, ladies. Okay, so my stamps. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. I love, love this butterfly image, so I know I'm going to use that one for absolute sure. And I want the branch as well. Okay. And we're going to need a greeting. 
We have welcome, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul, birthday wishes, love to celebrate you, and it was a perfect day because of you. This is kind of like a thank you or appreciation, birthday, celebrate. That could be anything. Love to celebrate with you. I kind of like that one because it could be used for a variety of occasions. It could be an anniversary, and oh, graduation, anything. So I think I'm going to use that. And most likely we'll use this flower. And I don't know. I kind of want to stamp on here so I think the flower would be too much maybe that little tiny butterfly maybe I'll stamp that all over the background because it's going to have to be something quite small in order to um, be seen you know what I'm saying not so eloquently <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull out my mat and grab a couple of blocks and we'll get this loaded up. And I'm going to stamp on there with pineapple punch ink. All right, let's see what kind of damage I can do. I just want one more visual here. Yeah. No rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of twisting it and turning it. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's going to work, I think. I think that will work. Now, I think maybe this piece should have a bit of texture. And I don't know what folder I want. I think I want something more than the subtle, but not as big as the layered leaves. What about the country floral? What? No, no, maybe not. Flowers would. I'll go with the layered leaves. I'm gonna take this over to the big shot and emboss this just to give it a little bit of texture. And I apologize that I'm not on camera for this, but I uh, just I have a very very small craft room, and I just don't have the room to be lugging this on camera. non-traditional is that? Blue leaves. There we go. Alright, we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our panel. And I think I'm going to pull in my Stamparatus just so I don't mess up. Okay. We'll get this little guy in here. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do here. But I think I'm going to use markers because this is coloring techniques. So 
markers direct to stamp are always a fun option and that way you can it takes a bit of time but I mean it's not difficult and we're just going to put some color on those branches and that color I chose was early espresso. Now for my flowers. I'm not sure what color flowers I want, but I'm thinking probably something bright. Why don't I stay in the same color family? Oh, look at me pulling an ink pad. I'm losing my marbles. All right, let's use Melon Mambo, or no, I'm sorry, Lovely Lipstick. No, Melon Mambo. It's on there. We're going with Melon Mambo, ladies. And this stamp is a distinctive stamp. It's got some variegations in right in etched in the rubber so it's going to give you a shaded look see what i'm saying pretty eh and as you can tell there's no care being taken what i'm doing is i'm just whacking the color right on to the stamp like so oh that's pretty good choice Shelly all right do I want another branch not sure why don't we put our greeting on the bottom first and that way, he won't. I'm saying no, I'm not going to need another. Oh boy, see how crooked that is? I'm going to have to get my big head in here. I am going to bring in, I have a sheet of acetate here, and I'm just going to pull this in and stamp it just to see. I'm going to use blueberry bushel for the greeting to see if I have it in the right place and what it's going to look like. I don't want to mess it up and as you can tell I do not have it in the right place at all so it was a good thing that I did that and I'll just erase that <clears throat> and then I'll try to get this placed properly I'm going to put this back on here and we'll give this a go again. That looks straight to me, whether it is or not, is another story. We'll do another test run. Yes, that's going to be fine. All right that acetate off if you're wondering where this stamp set is it's on page 16 of the current annual catalog and as you can tell it's a gorgeous gorgeous stamp set okay we have our greeting put that away and move our magnet back down here 
want to clean this ink up before I'm wearing it. Okay, so this big beautiful butterfly is going to be the star of the show. I think maybe there. I just don't know what color to stamp this guy. Get a little piece of scrap paper here. And maybe we will just do a couple of tests. I think maybe. I'm thinking I'm going to do a memento. Let's see what he looks like in memento. Or she. He or she. Now remember, this is just computer paper. Hmm. That's pretty dark. Can't say so I like that. Hmm. Let's try something else. Let's try Smoky Slate. Ooh. Did you see what I almost did? Yeah, I think I'm going to try it in Smoky Slate. I think I'm going to do it. Wish me well. Okay, we're going to let this dry because my ink pad is super sonic juicy. While we're waiting for that to dry a bit, I am going to get a card liner. And I am just going to stamp one flower. This block is too small. lovely lipstick and we will make the inside of this card pretty and then we're going to take this little guy here and we're going to do him in blue 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 Blueberry. There. Let's get that out of the way. And we'll bring in our card base. I'm sure it's going to fit in there. I think I got it pre cut. Yep. Just pop that in here to make the inside happy. Okay, now what did I do? Oh, he's over here. All right, I need to get this stamper out of the way. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I work myself into a corner all the time. <laughs> Okay, I need to put some color on this guy, and I know we're not supposed to do this, but I am going to quickly pop on, I'm just dotting this, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just tapping not rubbing the paper at all. I'm just tapping the color on because stamp, stamping up inks do not mix 
with Sam from Brian's the alcohol markers and I don't want to smear this all over <clears throat> just want to get a little bit of yellow color on there so I'm just tapping or pouncing up and down not rubbing at all because I thought that the memento black was just too dark for what the look I was going for so basically the coloring techniques that we used here are markering and that is just direct to stamp so you could get a multicolored image and I'm also using stamp and blends and then just direct stamping so we've done a couple of different I don't know it's hard for me to pick one Now, you can't see a whole lot of the texture on that blue. You can see a little bit on the edges, but I really don't want to cut that panel down anymore because I don't want to cut that flower off and I don't want to lose the branch. So we are going to go with it. And we're using the Tombow adhesive, which is my favorite adhesive, but I'm really laying it on heavy here because it's going on to an emboss layer. And I want it to stay put. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to pull in some of these glitter enamel dots. Oops, wrong tool. And I have one pink one that would work. And I have numerous yellow ones that would work. I don't like the green, the blue, or the white on this card. I think I'm going to use this one pink one. I just want to loosen some of these up so I can pick them up with the other part of my tool. I have two of the Take Your Pick tools. There are actually, like you can you can remove these different, like if you had one tool, you could get, have all these different ends on one tool. I'm just lazy, I hate taking things off. So I bought two tools. So on one I have my pick tool and my, my, br my die brush. The other I have my putty tool and my stylus. So that way I don't have to stop what I'm doing and switch things out. I like things to be easy and convenient. There you have it. All right, what do you think? There's my card. I don't know whether you can see the butterflies in the background and the detail in here. Another thing we could have done, we could have stamped this flower and cut it out and laid it over top of this one. That would be kind of cool too and add some more dimension. But for today, that's how it's going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, leave me a comment. Click the subscribe button. Bye-bye.